Uh, hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me today. So we're going to have a small exercise uh, and I'll show you how to create some test items in SharePoint list using simple loops in Power Automate. So for our use case, we will create a hundred items and we will need three things for that. First, we will use a variable uh, which is called counter and the values for this variable will uh, go from 1 to 100, right? So each time when the item gets created, then the variable gets increased by 1, right? So then we will use this action called create item in SharePoint and I'll show you uh, how this loop works. Uh, it's called do until. Basically, it means that uh, perform this action until something is true. So uh, let's get to it. I already created a sm small flow. So I'll show you where is it here on this machine. Uh, so I am in Power Automate uh, Center, right? And I'll show you what I've done. So basically, this is a, a manual flow, right? So it gets triggered manually. Of course, as you know, you can put some uh, different triggers there. Then I initialize a variable, which is called counter, right? And the type of this variable is integer. So it's basically a number that gets incremented. And I set it to initial value of one. Then I create this loop, which is called do until. And in the loop, I put the uh, condition, right? I put the condition. So for uh, this part, right, for, for the value, I uh, select a dynamic content and I put a variable, right? And then um, here, I put it to 100, right? And um, the way this works, right, this do until, sometimes it's a bit confusing if you should select greater or less. So uh, basically, uh, it means that until this condition is uh, met, you, you do the action. So it's like the opposite. If I select is, uh, less than 100, right, then my condition evaluates to true and it runs on the ones. So uh, here I put is greater than 100, right, because I want 100 items to be created. Then I do my action, which is create item. And here I already have a specified uh, SharePoint site in the list name, which is called issue tracker. Uh, I have a title for this test um, thing, right? I selected this current iteration index. This is a good thing, you know, when you work with uh, uh, with uh, some, you, let's say you need to create some test items uh, and you need to give it a name that is easy to, to, to remember. So uh, this could be something to use. So, for example, right, if I look here under dynamic content, uh, there is something in the end which is called current iteration index. So it means that if I go into the loop once, uh, for the first time, the index will be equal to zero. Then I go to this loop twice, then the index becomes one, etc. Right? It goes up to 100 plus minus one, you know, because uh, in programming, it always starts with zero, and uh, in real life, it starts with one. <laughs> so uh, let's see. This values I leave as defaults, and then I increment this counter variable with one, right? So the next, this uh, value, you see the initial one was one, so the item gets created, and then this value gets set to two, since this condition is still uh, correct, right? So two 
is greater than 100, it evaluates to false. Then we go again to this loop one more time. And it goes to this loop until it reaches 100. Right? So that's pretty much it. It's quite simple. I click Save. And after that, I can test my flow. Right? I uh, so here is the list, right? Let me delete some of the items. So let's assume my list is uh, empty for now. Takes a moment to remove all these items. Well, it takes Okay, so now the items are gone. Now let me go back. I uh, test the flow, so I click manually, test, and run. Since my flow, you know, it has a manual trigger, I have to do these clicks, otherwise I wouldn't have to do it. So you see, now I have this do until it's running. Yeah, there is a timer, right? It shows how many seconds it runs. I can go back here to the flow and let's see. So my status is still running. The test is running. Let's give it a moment. So for me, uh, 30 items, it took 15 seconds to create. And now let's say if if 100 items approximately three times more, then uh, it will take me about a minute, a little bit less than a minute. Yeah, so now I have this test successful. And you see I have all these items in my list, which got created. So that's all I wanted to show you. It's quite simple, but it will give you an initial understanding how to start working with loops. And also, if we look here, right, there is this loop, it's called do until. Also, there are some other loops. If I look on the controls, right, uh, there is one called apply to each. Right, and do until there is a terminate control. But uh, you see, these are the two basic ones. It's also possible to achieve something similar with conditions, right? Uh, which you know you can do something if the condition is is correct, uh, right? Or if the condition is false, do the following. So, um, but basically, yes. Just remember you have uh, this loop, which executes a block of action uh, f for each item in input array. And this one executes specific actions until specified condition evaluates to true, right? So I hope it's been helpful. Uh, have a great day and stay healthy. Bye-bye.